can you change the background color of the menu it can be a dark slate refresh and now this is dark slate hey guys in the first part of this tutorial you learned how to set up gpt script and we built a web developer assistant with a simple front end that showed us the source code and a preview of the result you can find a link in the description below for the part one in this part we are going to rebuild the script a bit and use the new chat functionality that comes with gpt script we are not going to have a front end for this part so everything will happen in the command line the result will still be a usable html file but the way it's created will be a little bit different and by using the new chat functionality the web developer assistant will feel a little bit more natural as it will always keep asking us what more it should do so let's go to the editor and find the script from the previous part so we have everything here um, and i want to do some changes we already have these tools, but I can add one more here, sys.downloads, make it possible to download images and do this a little bit different. We also need to set, uh, we can remove the argument as a chat colon true to activate the chat assistant. And then, uh, yes, you are a professional web developer and designer, you're going to be an assistant for the user then below here you can say uh, when when this chat is started ask the user what you can help with um, when you're given a command open up index html analyze it and modify it when you're asked to generate image um, let's just take this away from now for now and we'll come back to it because I want to make it possible to use multiple images and then I just need to do this a little bit different so we can try to run the script go back here now and say gpt script uh, assistant.gpt so hey how can I assist you today and that's the question that we tell it to ask here the template from last time looks like this um, we can maybe ask it to change the blue color for the menu can you change the background color of the menu it can be a dark slate yes it should read index.html you just need to allow it to do this and then you can see here it read this which is this page do the changes and write to this always do that refresh and now this is dark slate which is sort of a grayish bluish color nice um, we can do the changes now to include the images so we can just go back here stop the script go back to visual studio code and do some changes here um, between these three lines we can say if you're asked to generate or insert an image call the image illustrator and then this should have this tool but i also want to just include sys.write and sys.download here as well just so make sure that it has all of the rights to do this and then we have the description and the command and then we instruct this to do a little bit things down here let's just remove this and change this a little bit you are a graphic designer help the user and do the following steps in order one come up with a good prompt and the prompt is just what we send into dolly to generate an image so come up with a good prompt for gener generating an image based on the command two based on the prompt come up 
with a file name ending with .png3 get the URL and download it at download it in this folder and rename it to the file name for return the name of the file so we can save this now and try to see if this would work can you generate a futuristic image of a robot and insert it into the hero section so then you see here a highly detailed futuristic robot with advanced technology glowing lights sleek metallic design blah 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 there's the file name so we got this the prompt and we have the file name so then we can see if it can get the url and download this please provide an open ai api key um sorry i thought that i had done that export i have this here at least can okay i just paste it hit enter let's see if it will proceed now this should be the URL for the image. Then you can see pro proceed with downloading. Confirm all so it will remember for the next time. Downloading is down to futuristic robot. Proceed with reading. I closed it and now we open it. We need to allow this again. And yes. Okay, let's go back, refresh, and there you see it. Nice. Let's try to limit the width of the page. Can you limit? the width of the hero section and add some sp space between the image and the texts okay no, okay yeah it didn't look very good but it is what it is we cannot just keep asking this to do more stuff um, can you make the image smaller to fit the container go back and refresh perfect so you can now see what this should be capable of doing we can now do this with multiple images if you wanted to do that um, let's also say that we are tired of this page now so we want to start all over let's just go back into here again and I can say um, can you clean up the index.html file and start a new page for me I want to create a landing page for a new company specializing in sled tours for dogs let's see what we get then refresh nice so it looks much different now at least or the menu looks a little bit the same but the secure section is a little bit different we got a new section down here where i choose us and we have a simple footer so now we know that our chatbot is capable of building a simple website uh, let's see what more we can do so let's see what more we can make it do for us let's see what more we can do Let's see what more we can make it do for us. For example, we can make the page mobile responsive, add more elements to the menu. We can add icons around here if you want to do that. We can add more elements to the menu. We can generate images for us, etc. But what about creating content? Um, say, can you add one more section to the page? A section that should show three blog posts come up with some good content oh at least this makes it very easy to come up with a demo content for a website so it's much easier if you're for example making this for a client then you can just insert content that looks more real than using the typical lorem ipsum texts etc so now we have the latest blog posts and three blog posts with the read more button. 
and can you center the title latest blog posts perfect so now with the new chat functionality in place the web developer assistant will work much faster and the results is also better and now there isn't actually any real limitations what its script or chatbot can do as a web developer it is now capable of writing html it can write css or tailwind if you prefer that you can make it use javascript for example for including a responsive menu or uh, do validation in a form etc hope you enjoyed this video and that you are now wanting to learn even more about gpt script